So such a good combination. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. In the spirit of tax season 2024, let's build an Infinity Q50 for under 5,000 bucks. Let's start today with the VQ37, the 3.7 liter V6 Infinity Q50 that you should find in 2014 and 2015. 5,000 bucks, pretty good budget. You can do a lot to a Q50 for under 5,000 bucks and have it be a really fun little car. Some of you might be a little bit surprised, some of you might be a little bit disappointed in the list that I got put together here today, but I truly believe that with $5,000 and the components that I'm going to list here in this video, a 2014 or 2015 Infiniti Q50 will be a lot of fun. Trust me on this one. Let's start with brakes. You need stopping power, but you don't even got to go crazy. Whether you have a sport model Q50 or you have the base model, the non-sport Q50, upgrading the brakes very slightly only very slightly will make a big difference. I'm gonna go with stainless steel braided brake lines and stop tech pads. You can do this combination for 300 bucks or so, something like that. Stainless steel braided brake lines is like $125 and the pads, they might be 150 bucks, something like that. So we're gonna say under $250, you can make a really nice upgrade to your braking system. Let's set a big ticket item for the number two modification on the list and that would be coilovers. I, ran uh, BC Racing BR Series coilovers on my Q50. I highly recommend those. About $1,500 or so, maybe $1,800. You can get some Tane coilovers that are high quality as well for $1,000 or less, but I would uh, I would allocate $1,500 for coilovers. Gets you the adjustability, gets you a little bit better uh, handling on the road and allows you to adjust the ride height. I would say lowering springs are probably good enough as well if you want to free up some more money for some additional modifications, but um, if you're truly trying to build this car and actually substantially increase performance and it's a, you know, adjustability and customization, coilovers, good option, 1500 bucks. But number three on the list, a good set of drop-in filters from AFE. Uh, I'll put a link in the description below. Check out my AFE drop-in filter videos. Uh, big topic of conversation always is intakes on this platform. If you've been following along, you'll know uh, my stance and really common knowledge now at this point regarding cold air intakes for the Infinity Q50, the 3.7 liter Q50. So take a look at those videos, take that information as you will. But right now, 120, 130 bucks, something like that for some AFE dry drop-in filters, gonna help the car breathe a little bit better. We're not sure where we're at on the list, but uh, next modification is going to be Hotchkiss Sway Bar. If you can swing two of them, great. Uh, that'd be like five, 600 bucks. But the most important one on the Q50 from my experience is the rear. Uh, front is definitely gonna help, but the rear sway bar really has a massive impact on how the car feels on the road. And then you combine that with coilovers, totally different animal on the road. The car's gonna feel amazing. Those two components alone is so good for that car. I think right now a rear Hotchkiss sway bar for the Q50 is like $250. Not sure where we're at in terms of dollar amount. I think we're approaching that $4,000 point. The next modification, this is an interesting one because I'm going to say exhaust, but I'm going to say you really, a muffler delete is fine. I wouldn't waste the money on an axle back, but just chop those mufflers off, get a little bit better tone out of the thing. I won't even worry about going test pipes or full cat back at this point. Maybe throwing a Y pipe and try to get a little bit of that torque back, but honestly, this is the interesting point. I would just forego a tune at this point. We're not doing test pipes, so there's no real reason to tune the car. And if you're gonna tune it, you get up into an additional thousand, twelve hundred, thirteen hundred dollars, and that's gonna bust your five thousand dollar budget, especially when all these other components that I've listed are much more important in my opinion for the VQ37. You're gonna have a lot of fun with the car, how it's set up, but there's one other modification that I would suggest and one that's gonna go a long way improving the overall performance of your Q50. And the final and maybe, arguably, one of the most important upgrades that you can make to your Q50 in this $5,000 budget build is the LSD conversion kit from Traction Concepts. I think it'll range between $400 and $800. That's with the gears or not with the gears. You can even have them uh, install it into a spare differential if you want. There's a lot of different options there, but nonetheless, uh, this upgrade is well worth it, especially when you combine it with the other modifications that I listed today. The braking system, the coilovers, the sway bars, uh, combining with combining those modifications with an LSD is going to make a night and day difference in your Q50. <laughs> the 
The open differential on these Q50s is nonsense when you're talking about performance. It can be dangerous in certain situations. It's unpredictable. And of course, if you're actually trying to race or push the limits of your Q50, the open diff doesn't do it any justice. So the Traction Concepts LSD conversion kit is going to give you the added benefit of a, of a typical kind of standard traditional LSD, limited slip differential, uh, without breaking the bank. Uh, you're not going to feel it in normal everyday driving situations, but it is going to come into play when you're trying to, you know, accelerate off of the line, uh, accelerate out of a corner. Uh, when you're driving in inclement weathers, it's going to give you that added predictability and security of knowing how your rear end is going to act. The open differential is just junk uh, on the Q50. You, you never, you never really know uh, if your right tire is going to spin, your left tire is going to spin, or when it's going to spin, if you're going to hook, if you're not going to hook, it, like I said, it can be unpredictable. It can be dangerous in certain situations. Trust me, I've dealt with it in the mountains. Uh, before I did the Traction Concepts LSD kit, it just, it's a joke uh, driving that car, trying to push the limits with that open diff. It's, it's crap. There should be links in the description below for everything mentioned in this video, but if we're talking about, you know, let's call it 500 bucks for an LSD conversion kit, We'll say under $1,000 for exhaust. We'll say $1,500 for coilovers. That's a big one, but a really, really important one. And then we'll say $150 for dry drop and filters. Uh, $250 for a braking upgrade between the stainless steel braided brake lines and the more aggressive brake pads. I like the Stop Tech Street Performance pads. And then what else have we got? What else have we got? Oh, $250 for a rear Hotchkiss sway bar. I think we're well under $5,000, to be quite honest. And you might have a couple hundred dollars extra to get that front sway bar or uh, maybe you want a, a a nice set of slotted rotors, for example. Uh, if you have a little bit of extra change left, a good honorable mention would be a nice set of tires. If you could do a wheel and tire package, uh, that'd be excellent as well. But I think the main components listed today uh, in this video are gonna make your Q50 feel like a completely different animal on the road. Come to think of one of the parts I would try to squeak in underneath that $5,000 cap would be the Z1 Motorsports rear diff bushing set for the Q50. Uh, most likely your Q50 diff bushing has already failed and it needs to be replaced anyway. But when you combine it with the Traction Concepts LSD and the suspension setup that you're going with under this $5,000 cap, uh, it's gonna play a huge role in putting the power down to the ground efficiently and effectively. So uh, for 300 and some dollars, it's really a must have. Now let's consider this. You got a great deal on coilovers. You want the cheapest route possible on your exhaust setup. And maybe you got a bunch of discounts for tax season and all these other parts that we talked about today. And you're well under that $5,000 cap. Maybe you already got good tires on your Q15 and you're not needing them. So you want to explore some other options. Maybe you want some aesthetic modifications done. I would go with the uh, high kick duckbill spoiler, which I had on my Q50. It's a hot commodity. They come and go very quickly. I try to keep the link updated as best I possibly can. I would look at Chrome Delete. Window tint goes a long way. We got some sequential turn signals, M-style mirrors, uh, potentially a carbon fiber steering wheel. There's a lot of things that you could add in there for just a couple hundred bucks here, a couple hundred bucks there, a couple hundred bucks over here. So a little goes a long way for those uh, aesthetic modifications. Fortunately, Q50 has a lot of aesthetic support in the aftermarket. So a couple of things to think about there too. And these are all parts that I had installed on my personal Q50. And I can tell you from experience that it was night and day different. So such a good combination. I'm sure there's some of you that are disappointed that I didn't say, you know, test pipes, full cat back and tune it and do pops and bangs and big flame tune and all that stuff. But truly the Q50 is such a good car. If you just, if you just pull a little bit of its hidden potential out of it, uh, you know, by improving its handling capabilities and just how it sounds a little bit, it, it makes it a ton of fun to drive. You can always progress into some of those modifications, but these items are gonna make it a totally different animal. Thing for that, I think this is a great baseline, a great baseline under 5,000 bucks to start with, and it's gonna make a huge difference. So if you guys have any questions, leave them down in the comments below. Uh, check out my channel as well. I got reviews and installation videos for literally everything listed on this list today. So. Uh, there's a plethora of information out there if you want to look for it. But I thank you guys very much for watching this video. More stuff coming for the channel. I appreciate the support up to this point. Subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks again. See you in the next one.